What's going on everybody? Welcome back. I have another first ascendant video for you guys. Today we're gonna to be talking about my Volby build. I find Volby to be one of the more fun descendants to play as her play style is kind of ability spammy and kind of reminiscent of other MMOs. So with all the introductory information out of the way, let's get into the mods. Alright, to start off, I'm using the Transcendent Mod Supply Moisture. This is the Transcendent Mod I believe gives you the most value. Um, her other ones are more gimmicky in nature and not really as useful as Supply Moisture. Next, I am running an Increased HP mod. I am running this because I feel like every descent in the game should at least be running an Increased HP and a Defense type mod. Skill Simplification because this is a mod that gives you a flat skill power bonus and this is not just for one type of skill it is for all your skills which is why i feel like this mod is something pretty much every person should be running uh, it does have a negative of maximum mp but i think you can work around that with either a different mod or using some kind of bonus on your external component i have focus on an attribute as all of Volby's abilities are non attribute skill expansion concentration extension and insight for both the crits and then to give you more duration and range Nimble fingers to give you a reduced cooldown. Frontlines for that increased crit damage and crit chance. Looking at my final mod, I have Decimator here. Decimator is an ultimate mod that when you defeat an enemy that's debuff, you gain 5% skill power, stacking up to 10 times. Essentially, this is just a free 50% skill power for Volby because all of her abilities apply a debuff, which is Laundry. So as long as you're getting killed with your abilities, you're stacking up this buff, and it's just free skill power modifier. It is a no-brainer pick for Volby. And as always, just use whatever grapple or melee mod you prefer. It doesn't really matter what you use here. As a bonus, here is a quick boss setup I put together. I swapped out Decimator for Shot Focus, but unfortunately I made the mistake of putting an extra X in there when I should have just left it empty. So I advise you just leave one of your slots empty to make it a flux slot. I also replaced my Duration mod with a Defense mod, just to give me more survivability. And you can also replace Skill Simplification with something like HP Collector or Walk a Tightrope for that extra firearm attack. Here we're taking a look at Volby's stats. You can see that her skill critical hit rate is pretty low at a 13%. This does take into account skill insight as well as my reactor bonus. So even if all those crit bonuses added up, it's still pretty low at a 13% chance. Just to show why you want to have supply moisture active at all times, I went ahead and put some water down. I'm going to look at my stats. And it jumped from a 13% crit hit rate all the way to a 68% critical hit rate. That is a massive increase to your crit hit rate. So make sure you're always trying your best to remember to stay in water at all times. Speaking of my reactor, this is the reactor I am running. It is a non-attribute and dimensional reactor, giving me a skill crit hit rate and a skill crit damage bonus. I am also running the Slayer set. The Slayer set is definitely one of the better component sets. When you have the full set on, you get rounds per magazine plus 9%, skill cost plus 15%, and skill power plus 26%. The last effect only works on Lepic to my knowledge, so that can be ignored for this build. Increase the skill cost is something that you're not really going to feel if you have a max MP bonus on your sensor. If you don't have one of those, however, you're going to notice that your MP is starting to tank pretty quickly. So I highly advise getting any MP related bonuses on your component set. With all that being said, those are my thoughts on Volby as a character. She offers a playstyle that's a little bit different from the other descendants in the game. You can just kind of spam your water with the floor and stack your DOTs up to wipe out entire sets of ads, and that's just something that I personally find enjoyable. I plan on making a build for new Descendant Haley whenever she launches in the next update here at the end of August, as well as Ultimate Freyna when she drops. Freyna has been a character I've been looking into building, however I didn't want to pull the trigger on that quite yet until I knew who the next Ultimate was going to be. Now that we know, I can pull the trigger on making a Freyna build, so if that's something you guys would like to see, let me know down below. If this video helped you in any way, leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.